Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Back to Bearcat Fishing and today is day three of practice. Um, today we've run just a little bit up from where we were yesterday and uh, I think we're starting off in this very intense fog around this marina so it's a little bit safer from everybody else running across the lake. So that was a smart move there Nordby. Gotta get away from all the hooligans. The hooligans man. The hooligans. And uh, right now right behind us there's a huge school of guard just like feeding and it's it's kind of cool to watch. There's one that just jumped right there. Not jumped, surfaced. So yeah, Let's see if we can go catch some fish. Up, here we go. Got a little top water action. This fish hit the spook and oh. Oh wow. Spider. You snagged him on the side. Yeah. <laughs> he swiped at it. He came up and swiped at it. It's a mean mouth again. Is it really? I think it is. Yeah. Another mean mouth maybe. I don't know, that guy just looks like he got hit by a propeller. Yeah, he does. Wow, this fish looks nasty. Yeah. No, that is a... Oh, oh no. He won't stop shaking. That is a mean mouth, dude. I think it's... Yeah, He's green. It is. Look at that. Wow. Two mean mouths of the trip already. That's sweet. First one of the day. Yeah, this fish does look like he got hit by a propeller. Nasty. He got smacked, dude. Nasty, man. Oh, on both sides. I don't think that's yeah. a propeller anymore. Oh, oh no. That's why they call him me, Mouse. Alright. See you, buddy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not a bad little guy. Out here about halfway back. Yeah, that's pretty small. That's pretty small. He's beautiful, you know. Just a little thing. Look little at thing him. Six hours later. All right, guys. So it's been a uh, a fat while since I've talked, and here a little update. All we can find is bedding fish. So uh, I just kind of jury rigged this thing up with a tripod with Andrew's GoPro on it with 17 pound test. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. So uh, <laughs> we are gonna do the full send. Hopefully. Okay, we're gonna just drop it down. All right, and then you oh, set the hook. The yeah. Okay. Oh, we should have hooked it up to your phone first. No, it loses connection underwater. Oh. Dude, it's looking at it. It's looking at us, too, the camera. Just lift it up. Oh, yeah, just lift it up. Perfect. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Yep. 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 Yes. <laughs> Dude, it's right in their face. This is awesome. Just looking at the camera. <laughs> Oh my amazing. gosh. I know. <laughs> this is gonna be great. All right, guys. So this is the first time we've ever gotten underwater footage of a bed. It is pointed a little up, but that's all right. So the name of the game is to actually catch this fish legally inside of the mouth. As you can see, we're throwing this really big pink worm and it's got a stinger hook on the back of it. And uh, this fish is like kind of reacting to it, kind of not reacting to it. It doesn't seem very interested in this worm. So we try to present a lot of different techniques to try and catch this fish. We noticed that with a lot of the other uh, bedded spotted bass, the uh, best way to catch them on this worm is to just go right next to them and kind of like tickle their nose. And when you tickled their nose, they really didn't like it. So they'd pick it up as fast as they could and try to move it off. But this this bigger spotted bass just didn't, just didn't really want anything to do with it. So right here, uh, there was a couple waves that hit our boat and it caused our power pole to drag along the outside of his bed. And uh, this spotted bass was just really unhappy with that. So he decided to swim over there, tried to check it out, wanted to try to scare it away, but um, just came right back to the bed. It was really cool seeing what uh, 
you know, what a power pole can actually do to a fish. So right here is probably one of my favorite ways to catch a bedding bass. It's just a really small wacky rig Senko. As you can see, she really doesn't like it. Not at all. She bit it right there, but I couldn't tell if it was all the way in her mouth or not, so I didn't set the hook. And I'm glad I didn't because the hook actually wasn't in her mouth. But she grabbed a pretty good chunk of it. I probably could have downsized even more and tried to catch it. But with this little drop shot, you just got to keep a super, super small uh, tag end so that it just floats right in front of her face. So next we tried a really small swim bait. This is probably like a 2.8 size swim bait. And I'm not really sure what happened here, but she ended up just like bolting off of her bed. I don't know if she was chasing like a bait fish or a bluegill or what. Maybe it was the power pole again. I really have no idea. But she just came back super fast. Like just instantly back on the bed, locked back on. And uh, we decided to keep trying for her. So we dropped it back down there and she noticed it right away. She takes a little uh, nip at it right here. We set the hook because we, we thought we saw it disappear, but we actually didn't. It's kind of hard to judge how far the bait's actually in the fish's mouth uh, when it's you know that deep in the water column. It's probably about like six foot down there. Uh, she sees it again, takes a nip at it, trying to get it off her bed, try to scare it away. It was really cool uh, trying to figure out the spotted bass. She just really did not enjoy that little swim bait the most out of all of them. And uh, she just kept pecking at it and pecking at it and we weren't sure what to really do. Uh, right here, we accidentally like snagged her, like skin hooked her right on the lips. That wouldn't be a tournament legal fish at all. You know, it happens when you're bed fishing. You, you just never truly know if that fish has it in their mouth unless it's just completely gone. It went right underneath the um, the lower jaw so we thought it disappeared and had a good majority of the bait and yeah it just kind of happens when you're bed fishing and uh, she just came right back to the bed started pecking at the little swim bait again right here we kind of ripped it off the ground and she just reacted to it instantly it was really cool getting that footage of the reaction strike guys I got one I got one it's a toad oh it's snagged the toad is snagged oh oh my gosh it's a GoPro Guys, I caught an absolute toad. Look at that spotted bass. <laughs> this is the smallest fish of the trip. Like, that's a largey. That's not a largey, dude. Uh, right. <laughs> Look at that. That is so small. How did I even hook him? Super Look, small. Look, where's the swim bait at? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is the swim bait I was using. Oh, shoot. It's like, look at that. That's, this is stupid. That's crazy. <laughs> See you later. Oh. Oh. I feel like you picked up a piece of it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's Got a good him. spot. Oh, both of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, dude. Nice. It's working. In the mouth. In the mouth. Look at that. Yeah, give me some. Woo. Hold on, let me get them hooked and I'll give you some. All right, she's going down. Ready? Sending it. Oh, hold on, let me do it with the right hand. That makes more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Sending it. There we go. My worm and he ran off the bed with it. Solid spot. Oh, yeah. He got him with the big hook too. He, he took the whole worm yes, and ran off the bed. Yes, that's a keeper. Yeah, he's push. Oh yeah, he is pushing 15 probably. I don't know. He's long. He's probably 14. Wow, that was sweet. All right, going back. Oh. oh, 
he had. He one. had it. <laughs> he didn't get it though. Oh well. Yeah, yeah I got him. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. On the stinger, I think. No, that's the main hook, dude. Oh, it is the main hook. Wow, he really. Oh, took he's it. pissing everywhere. <laughs> Squirt gun. Sweet. Oh, the stinger got him too. Oh no. He's not getting away. See ya. Scrub plunk. He's not gonna live. Got him. Oh, I got yeah. him, dude. Yes. He's got my hook in his mouth. I, I, I thought it was a keeper. Oh, he just broke mine off into his mouth too. No way. <laughs> on me. Right. Throw him back. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> Guys, I got an absolute toad on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is a terrible this is this is not good guys. What is my drag at? Oh gosh, we're gonna we're gonna make this super loose because guys I got a giant a giant fish. We're getting a picture with this stud. Look at that. It's a, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like I'm deep sea fishing. <laughs> oh Oh, keep him up, keep him up. Oh. You want me to grab him for you? Yeah, you should definitely grab him for me. <laughs> we should get a picture with him too, just because it's funny. Keep him up. He spawned out, dude. Got him. <laughs> Look at that, dude. This is a dang carp. <laughs> Look at this fin. Oh my gosh. Look at it. He is post spawn though. Look at him. Okay. He's got no gut. Here, how do I hold yeah. a carp? Lip in there. I always grab the lip too in case he wiggles. There you go. That's sweet. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a picture real quick because it's really funny. <laughs> Good job, man. Dude, should we get it underwater at release? Uh, no. <laughs> no. I'm not wasting my All right. battery on See you later. Oh, Giant. That's hilarious. Good fight. Thanks, buddy. Good fight. <laughs> All right guys, just got off the water and uh, today was a pretty interesting day. Uh, I was able to catch my actual first uh, sight fish, my first bedding sight fish spot, I guess. So uh, we don't get to do that very much in Northern Missouri. Most of our waterways, I don't know, the most clarity you get is like five inches. So uh, it was cool. Uh, we found a lot of really deep spot beds all the way from 15 feet to three feet. It was really cool and um, yeah, we kind of struggled today finding largemouth, smallmouth. Super bright day. It started off really interesting with all the fog, but, you know, what can you do? So, it wasn't a completely wasted day. All the rest of the days was supposed to be overcast and raining. So, you know, we caught some spots off beds today. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you next time with Bearcat Fishing.